I was in Ghana. We came to Ghana a week ago to commemorate the 400 years the first slave ship left. It was the second worst day of my life. The worst day of my life, my mama died. I never, never really fully got over that. But standing in them dungeons, where they took us from, where they stripped us of our heritage, of our land, of our lineage, that we were kings, chiefs, queens, land owners, they took us from here. When I stood in that castle, I couldn't even stand up. See, for us to come to Africa, you don't know. See, you live here. You, you've been home your whole life. You here. When we come here, it's like coming home to a place you've never been. That's what African Americans feel when we come here. I don't know who, but when I stood in that slave dungeon, one of, one of my ancestors was bad. I couldn't even stand up because one of my ancestors was in that room. Of man. See, you. Then we went to the second castle. I didn't have that feeling. I was just angry at what they did to us. How dare you create such an evil scheme to strip people of who they are? take us to this land far away where we were hated even more and then we go over here and we build a nation we built America this atrocity lasted 400 years 400 years some of us African Americans are the first ones to ever set foot of where we from. You and I are the same. When I'm walking around Botswana, I ain't no stranger. Y'all mine, I'm yours. I'm black like you. I'm African. I was born in 1957 when we was niggas. I lived until they started calling us colored. I lived until they called us Negroes. I lived until they called us uh, black. And we finally understood that we Africans. So now in, Af in America, you have to identify us as African Americans. Mm -hmm. African. And as successful as I've been over there, as wonderful as I've created life for my family, I want nothing more 